Let's install a network IDS, IPS, and network security monitoring engine. It's an open source piece of software called Suricata. And IDS is an intrusion detection system, so it'll detect an intrusion and show you that it's there. Suricata can also be an intrusion prevention system. We are only going to use the detection system part. Whenever you're installing new software, you always want to update. Uh -oh. You want to update and synchronize your APT database with the upstream mothership. That way your computer knows all the new stuff that's available. It's also a good idea to keep up keep all your software up to date. So minus Y means that it's going to keep going, upgrade, and you won't have to answer any questions. Next step, install the Suricata program. Again, the minus Y says keep going. Don't make me answer questions. Now mine's already installed, so it didn't take very long to install it. We want to know the IP address of our system this is on my local network at home. This is the address that we're going to send our ping flood attack to from our local computer. So you want to put that someplace, write it down, whatever, so you know where to aim your ping flood attack. All right, so now we're going to edit a configuration file. The configuration file is how we set up the program. And this is a little um, GUI program, which apparently this program has two to three thousand lines of code in it, so we don't want to have to be mucking around trying to find things. At the beginning of the program, we have this part that says Home Net. This is going to be for your network. So if your network is 192.168.0, dot one well that's what you'd put in my network is 192.168.9.0 zero is always the what would you call it zero is always the network address slash 24 that's my network address and you leave it inside those little brackets control s to save it then we go ahead and exit this is a graphical program. You can click the little X. All right, the next step, we are going to update Suricata. Suricata. And let's see, up Suricata-update. This will update all the rules, so it knows about all the things that it should be um, that it should be looking for. Unfortunately, it doesn't look for a ping flood attack, so we'll have to add that rule in ourselves. It does take a little bit at the very end because it's looking through all these rules and config and making sure that they all work. And you can see there's a lot of rules. There's 54,000 of them. Some were removed, some were added. Just like anything else in networking, cybersecurity, whatever, everything you want to have it up to date. It's time to put together our ping flood rules. So nano ping dash flood dot rules. I've already pasted this in here. If you look in the assignment, it's very small font. Well, that's because everything has to be all in one line. And there's two rules. So you go up here, Control C to copy from there, go up to your Kali Linux, Alt, I'm sorry, Shift Insert will paste it in here. Let's go to the end. Now it's an de attempted denial of service, meaning if you send too much information to the computer, it can't handle it. Because there's only li there's limited amount of resources in any computer. This is considered a denial of service if there's 50 pings sent 
within one second. The other one is in 10 seconds, if there's 100 pings sent in 10 seconds, that's considered a denial of service. That's really not enough to denial of service anybody, but it's our example. All right, control S to save, control X to exit. Next step, we've got our rule set up. Now we need to tell our Suricata setup file that it's there. So I'm going to cursor up till I find the mouse pad again. Now we have to go clear down through thousands of lines and that's not my favorite thing to do. So control F will bring up the little find thing. What we're looking for is rule dash files. Press enter. And if we look right here, it's in, oh, I better change that because it's home user. And user is going to be whatever the name of your user is if you did a different user than what I did. So there it is. Ping flood rules is now in our configuration file. Okay, control S to save. We'll go ahead and click the X to close it. Now, the next command is a very long one. I'm not going to type it in. I'm going to select it. Control C to copy from Windows. Shift insert to paste it in here. This is going to test the Suricata configuration to make sure that everybody's happy. So this will take a few minutes. Now while that's going on, let's take a look at the ping flood program. You know how to add things in, right? You bring up a terminal. So go to start, type in CMD. For those of you that haven't done Python before, I have the how to install Python and get Visual Studio going, Studio Code going, and all that in the um, assignment. So Python install python dash oops dash ping, hit enter, and it'll install it. This imports the ping part of the Python ping library. Here you'll enter the IP address of the Kali Linux machine that we want to flood. While true means that this is a loop that's going to keep going forever and ever and ever and ever. Result is only so that we can see what happens. So we're going to set up a specific ping command. We're going to ping the host address a thousand times. It's going to be a thousand bytes. Then we're going to wait a second for a response. To, to close the program, we're going to use a control C. Control C breaks most programs. Um, if it's in the middle of this and something goes wrong, you'd use control C. However, we're not going to do that. This allows us to press enter to keep going or control C to exit. I should put that in here, shouldn't I? CTRL dash C to stop. There we go. All right. By now, our Kali Linux should be happy, and it is. Look at there. Everybody's happy. No problemos in there. Okay. The command to run Suricata is almost the same as the one that tests it. If we go back here, and backspace the minus T, this tells Suricata to start looking for start looking for um, de intrusions. All right, so we're going to open up a second terminal so we can watch the logs. Let's see, I'm going to make this a little bit smaller so I get the little arrow there. There, that way I can see the log and see what's going on over here. Now in the assignment, there's one that says cat var fast dot log. We're going to use the tail minus f command to monitor this log. Now at this point, nothing's happening. Minus f means it's going to keep looking for new things going on. Now I'm going to go down to my ping flood command and start the program. Run the little run guy. Host name is going to be 
oops, num locks off. 192.168.9.135. That's the IP address of my Kali Linux. So now I'm going to send a ping flood attack. This is sending a thousand or ten thousand, whatever I put in there. And you can see it came around and there's a bunch of stuff in there. I didn't have it count, but it'd be up to whatever the number is that's in there. And if we look over here, look at there, attempted denial of service, attempted denial of service. It worked. We can see somebody's trying to hack into our system. So success.